hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you've been here before welcome back if you're new here welcome as you can see by the title today's video is a quick and easy hairstyle i did on my three-year-old's natural hair i hope you guys enjoy this video and see a cute little style that you can do on your toddler if you're ready i'm ready let's get into this video All right, y'all, so what I used to achieve this style was tea tree oil and almond oil. Any oil is fine. Eco Styler gel. Some type of edge control or jam. Rubber bands or elastics. Hair beads. Moisturizer and beater. Lastly, brushes, combs, or both. All right, y'all, as you can see, I am just taking out her twist. Her hair was previously in this style. I'm just refreshing it and redoing it. All right, so the first product I'm using is the Dream Kids Olive Oil Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just putting it all over her hair to make it easier for me to comb and brush through. Then I'll also add some tea tree oil to add some more moisture and to make it easier to get through her hair. Now, as far as that edge control for my child, I use jam or either Eco Styler gel works fine, um, slicks her hair up just fine. My child does not wear a scarf, stocking cap, or bonnet. She will not keep it on her head. Um, hopefully, as she gets older, she'll wear it, but she's just at the age where she does not like things on her head, so she will snatch it off. So that's why I try to get her edges as slick as I can so that the style can last. And I also do use rubber bands on my child's hair. I know everyone does not use rubber bands or agree with using rubber bands, but they do not pull her hair out. She has no issue with them, and that's just what holds her hair in place the best. Now, I use the Argon Oil Eco Styler Gel with the red top, and that's what I use to put on my fingers um, to slick them to go through her hair easier. And I'm just taking the two pieces that were twisted before, and I'm twisting them right back up now once the hair is twisted i'm taking my beater that i've already filled up with beads and i'm putting the beads on her hair now i'm just going to repeat this process to all the twists in this ponytail Now y'all let me know down in the comments what you have to do to keep your little ones still while you do their hair. But for us in this house, Araya has to have a snack or some type of sweet treat, lollipop, something, and some type of electronic device to keep her calm and still so I can do her hair.
All right, y'all, we are on the last ponytail, the final stretch. You may see Arias starting to get a little bit antsy looking at the camera with a help me face because she is over it. But it has to be done. So, yeah, y'all, I'm just doing the same thing I've been doing all over her head to this last ponytail. Now that all the twists and beads are done, we're going to take these, what do y'all call them, knockers, balls, um, and we're going to add those to her hair as well as go through the parts of her scalp that are exposed with some oil. And the oil I love is the sweet almond oil. It smells so good and smells so sweet and it really moisturizes her scalp. Now I love these little oil bottles with the nozzle on the end. You can get them at your local beauty supply for one, excuse me, $2.99. They're really, really good. But yeah, y'all, I'm just adding these cute little, I call them knockers um, or balls, cute little balls to her hair. Um, I love them. They're so, so cute. They're just nostalgic. They just remind me of my childhood. And I just love for my little girl to just look like a little girl. I love bows and beads and all of that because Soon enough, she's not going to want this on her head, so I have to enjoy it while I can. But yeah, y'all, this is the final product. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you like this little style and that you can do it on your toddler as well. Leave me a comment down below of products you guys use or what you have to do to have your little one sit still. I would love to hear from y'all and I'll see you the next time. Bye.